Hindu would say, okay, fine, Vedas is the word of God. Christian would say, Bible is the word of God. Muslim would say, Quran is the word of God. The Sikh, he will say, my Granth is the word of God. The Parsi, he will say, my Avesta is the word of God. Even if all the jinns and the humankind gather together, they will never be able to produce the life of the Quran. Even if all the human beings try and change the Quran, they cannot do it. It's a challenge. It can be verified and examined. That time, it can even be verified today. And inshallah, it can be verified and examined even till the last day. That's the reason. It is the miracle of miracles. Dr. Zakir Naik speaks on Is the Quran God's Word in Peace Mission? Okay, I have one question. In the Surah Al Imran, verse 50, it says to follow the teachings of Jesus. Why doesn't anyone do this? Can you mention your name, sister, please? Chastity. Sister asked a question that the Quran says in Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse number 50, that we have to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And there are many verses which say that we have to believe in Jesus, peace be upon him. Sister, let me clarify that Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe that he was the Messiah translated to Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Christian and the Muslim sister, we are going together. But one may ask, where is the parting of ways? The parting of ways is, sister, that many Christians, they say, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he claimed divinity. He said that he was almighty God. If you read the Bible, sister, there is not a single unequivocal statement. In the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says, worship me. If any Christian can point out a single unequivocal statement, a single unambiguous statement, in the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says, worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity today. I am not speaking on behalf of my other Muslim brothers. In fact, if you read the Bible, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devil, with the Spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20. I cast out devil with the finger of God. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God. <laughs> but the will of my Father. Anyone who says that I followed not my will, but the will of Almighty God, he's a Muslim. Jesus Christ, peace be upon you, as a Muslim. He never claimed divinity, and it's clearly mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22. Ye men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you, by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him, and you are witness to it. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God. Amongst you, by wonders and miracles which God did by him, and you are witness to it. So we believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was one of the mightiest messengers of God, but he was not God. So here we differ. As far as the teachings are concerned, your basic question was that Quran says we have to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. When Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, came in this world, he was only sent for the Jews, only for Bani Israel. The Quran says clearly, in Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 6, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, came as a messenger to the Bani Israel. It's mentioned in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse 49, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was sent only for the Bani Israel. It's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 10, verse number 5 and 6, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, 
he says, go not into the way of the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? Non-Jews, Hindus, Muslims. Go not in the way of the Gentiles. Enter not into the city of the Samaritans, but rather go to the house of the Lordship of Israel. And a similar message is repeated in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 15, verse number 24. He says to his apostles that I have been sent not but to the Lordship of the house of Israel. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was sent only for the Bani Israel. And his message was supposed to be followed only for a particular time period. That's what the Bible says, that's what the Quran says. In spite of this, sister, if you read the Bible, what Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, if you analyze, it's mentioned in the Gospel of Luke, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was circumcised on the eighth day. We Muslims, mashallah, we are circumcised. Majority of the Christians aren't circumcised. So if you say that following the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, makes you a Christian, then I like to say that I am more Christian than the Christian themselves. It is mentioned in the Bible. In the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5, verse number 18, that be not drunk. It's mentioned in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, verse number 1, that wine is a mocker. We Muslims, we don't drink alcohol. Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 90, alcohol is haram, we don't touch it. We don't touch it as a whole. The Muslims are the biggest community of teetotalers. So according to the Bible, you should not have alcohol. It's mentioned in the Bible that you should not have pork in several places. It's mentioned in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8. It's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 65, verse number 2 to 5, no less than five places that you should not have pork. We Muslims, we don't have pork. But majority of the Christians, they have pork. So if Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, we Muslims are more Christian than the Christians themselves. I can go on and on. When Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was asked that which is the first of the commandments, he mentioned in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verse number 29, he said, Shama Israelo adnai hainu adnai khad. It's a Hebrew quotation which means, Your O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. We Muslims, mashallah, we believe in none but one God. Majority of the Christians, they believe in Trinity. Father, Son and Holy Ghost. So if you say Christian, means the person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves. And you can refer to my video cassette, similarities between Islam and Christianity, which will give you more details, that we are following more of the Bibles, the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, than the Christian themselves. Hope that answers the question, sister. <laughs> Oh,